Hi guys, today we're going to be working on this dragonfly nail art on my mom's short nails. And as you'll probably be catching a glimpse of my nails as I'm holding her nails in place, if you'd like to see this pink and blue half moon gradient, I'll include a link for that in the information box. And if you'd like to see how I did these dragonflies, just stay tuned. All right, so I'm starting out with just a base coat on my mom's nails. And today I'm using Nail Life Gripper, which is unfortunately discontinued, but I recently came across a couple bottles. For a base color, I'm going to be using OMG, it's a UFO, and that's kind of a mossy green from the Hologlam collection. And I'm just going to apply a couple coats of that and let it dry most of the way. So for the little dragonfly bodies, I'm going to be using China Glaze 2030 and I'm going to be using kind of just a small to medium dotting tool for that. And I'm just going to dab some of that out on a piece of scratch paper. You know, a lot of times I'll use just a receipt from the library. You can use pretty much whatever you want. And I'm just going to create the head and then a couple more dots to represent the body and I hope that comes across okay on camera <clears throat> but I'm just going to continue that on all of her nails I'm going to be doing one nail as an accent nail on each hand and that nail is going to get kind of iridescent wings I have a couple of these just kind of teardrop shaped sequins that I've pulled out to use for the wings on her ring finger. And I'm going to use just a little bit of clear polish to stick them on the nail. So I'm just going to apply the clear polish there. Then with a wet orange stick, I'm going to pick up the sequins and apply them right on the nail and just gonna try to move fairly quickly so that that doesn't dry before I have a chance to stick them on there kinda press them down and make sure that they're on there good do the other side real quick and then I'll show you how I'm going to do the rest of the wings so for the other wings, I'm going to be using Sally Hansen Sequin Scandal. And it's a very dark color, but it's also got hints of gold and green in there. And there are a couple different ways you can paint the wings on. And I'll just show you guys quickly how I would do it if I were doing it on my own nails with uh, slightly more space to work with. Um, as you dip in the polish and you dot onto your nail, you can actually just kind of pull it and create pretty much of the wing shape. But those are coming out a little bit bigger than I want on my mom's little teeny tiny nails. And so what I'm actually going to do is to dot on some polish and then reach in with a toothpick and uh, kind of just draw that to a point at the end like that and if I need I can pick up a little bit more polish on the toothpick but that just allows me to be a little bit more precise than just dragging with the dotting tool.
to seal in the design, especially the couple sequins I used. I'm going to be topping everything off with sesh feet. So here we have the finished look. Of course, you can do all painted or all sequined wings if you want, or switch it up with your favorite colors. So let me know what you think of this design. If you'd like to see some more nail art on short nails, I'll link that playlist in the information box. And as always, thanks for watching.